What's up guys? Today's video is going to be all about styling, specifically what to wear in between seasons. I mean, technically the calendar says it is fall right now. However, and I know I'm not alone in this, it'll be in the 60s and 70s earlier in the week and then you'll run into a day like today where it is 90 or the day will start off in the mid 60s and then end up in the low 90s. Like what do we wear when the weather is giving us attitude and we just want it to be fall? You know what I'm saying? So this video is going to share some of the techniques that I use and some of the products that I like to achieve those techniques with. So let's go ahead and dive in. So first up, layering. It's so important, especially on days like I just mentioned where it could start off in the chill your temperatures and then feel like summer come like 2 3 p.m. I always like to keep some nice thin t-shirts on hand or if you're finding that it gets up into the 90s but it's you know 60s 70s in the beginning of the day maybe even a tank top or a camisole if that's your thing but I really like thin t-shirts and I have a few that I want to share First up is this one that I recently picked up from Nordstrom. It's from the brand Halogen, and it's just like a basic tee. Has some minimal designs like the seam down the back, but it's just a basic loose fitting tee that's pretty long in the torso, which I like because it will either fall a little bit over your hips if you're wearing something tighter on the bottom, or you can tuck it into your jeans if you have something more high-waisted going on. And the material is so, so soft. It actually reminds me a lot of another, um, or some more really great shirts that I love from Marstay fashion. Those are another great pick that I just don't have up here to show you today. And then I've also really gotten to love graphic tees. I found a couple on Amazon. Um, Hercules, Disney's Hercules. I really like that one. Um, and then All That. Raise your hand if you're a 90s baby and actually watch the show All That. So I found a couple of those that I like to pair, either worn alone, like they're super cute just worn alone, or if you want to wear them under some sweaters or jackets that I'm about to show you up next, they are also super cute. Speaking of jackets and sweaters, that is of course the other side of layering. And I have a couple picks depending on how cool you anticipate it being or just how much extra coverage you want. So first up is the zip up sweatshirt from Marstay. When I first did a haul from that brand, I bought it in black. They sent this one in the teal color, but I wore the tail off of that black one last winter because it's such an easy thing to throw on goes with pretty much everything if you're into a more casual style. But it does have some pieces like the gold hardware here to dress it up. And it's just a really unique silhouette and is also on the longer side. So again, if you want to wear it with something more fitted on the bottom, whether it's your skinny jeans or leggings, you can still do that. It's also super soft and comfy. It adds quite a bit of extra heat, which makes sense. It's a sweatshirt, but it's not like a, a thin sweatshirt. It definitely has some weight to it to, so that you could throw this on and that's all you would wear if you really needed to it. Um, I say that because I have a sweatshirt I'm going to talk about here later that is a little bit thinner, which is really nice for layering additionally, but might leave you wanting a little something more as compared to this, where it's just like really thick and warm. Then if you're looking for something even warmer and so, so soft, this I just picked up from Nordstrom and it's like a combination between a jacket and a shawl or throw. It has sleeves but it's very open and unstructured in the front. And it's this incredibly soft knit fabric that is perfect for draping over and snuggling up and stuff. So you can see it's a very loose, relaxed fit. Mine is in the size medium. So I would definitely say stay true to your size unless you want something like super oversized, but it's also big enough to where if you wanted to cinch it around your waist, I just took this elastic belt that I kind of reach for anytime I wanna cinch my waist when I feel like something's a little bit too baggy. I just put this right around my waist and it creates this really nice fitted silhouette that still gives you that billowy, comfortable feeling layer. So I think I'm just going to get a ton of good out of this in the cooler months. And then my last pick is more of a true outerwear pick. It is a jacket. So by true outerwear, I guess I mean this you might be more inclined to take off whenever you get to your destination, whereas the hoodie and the sweater would be things that you could kind of keep on and feel comfortable keeping on in transit and wherever you are going to or from. Whereas as a jacket, you can easily throw this on when you want a little bit of extra warmth when you're walking outside, going places, but you're also cool taking it off and just hanging out in your t-shirt or sweater or whatever you got going on underneath. But I absolutely love a leather jacket or pleather jacket. This just happens to be what I have 
had for years at this point. I got it from, um, I think Gap, yeah, Gap way back in the day. It's like a motorcycle style, so there's lots of cool silver hardware here and even on the sleeves. I've had it for like six or seven years, so probably chances are low you'll find this exact jacket, but there are so many out there that are similar and like I mentioned, either leather, pleather, whatever you're into, but I just love something like this that gives you the coverage and the extra warmth of a layer, but it's not a full-on winter jacket, you know? And last for layering, I kind of have a little bit of an oddball pick. This is in its own category because it is a sweatshirt. This is from the brand Grace Karen. It, and actually a, a couple of other things I want to mention from them, they actually sent to me. And it's in its own category because it's a sweatshirt. It has this really cool cowl neck, so you can kind of wear it where it looks a little off the shoulder, but you still get enough coverage to where it serves its function as a warm sweatshirt. Or you can kind of pull it down and, and wear it as that cowl neck. But it's soft and comfy and cozy, but it's still thin. It's not nearly as thick as the Marstay sweatshirt I talked about. It's thin enough to actually wear under other jackets. So if you have something like that that leather jacket that I mentioned before where you typically want it to be a little bit more fitted so it doesn't look too boxy. This is thin enough to where you can still wear it under that jacket and that's a look I really love. I know I, I tend to be attracted to jackets that have that built in but the reality is that I just need to get sweatshirts that are thin enough to wear under them because it just gives you a little bit more versatility as to whether you want your leather jacket to have the sweatshirt hoodie or the sweatshirt component or if you want to be able to mix and match and this is definitely a sweatshirt that you can do that with. Plus, it has a really unique neckline to it, which I love. Okay, this next tip I love because it helps you extend the life of the pieces that you loved during spring and summer well into fall, maybe even winter, depending on what you pair with them, and that is your skirts. Take the skirts that you loved in summer, swap out your footwear, change your top out for something that's going to keep you warmer, and that balance of something kind of loose and flowy on the bottom with something warmer on your foot and top, I think, is a nice balance for those awkward in-between weather days. Um, the best example I can think of is this incredible like lemon yellow skirt. This once again is from Grace Karen. I mean, if you don't think of summer when you see this, I don't know what to tell you, but it's this very like full flowy skirt. It goes just below the knees, which I love personally for me. And it has this nice elastic waist that you can kind of pull up. It cinches your waist in. And normally I would wear this with a basic t-shirt and sandals or flip flops, something like that in the summer but you can totally pair some boots with it and a sweater or you know one of these layerable pieces over top and still bring it well into the fall, I would say, unless you wanna pair some tights with it and then maybe even into the winter, depending on where you live. And I think they do have other colors in the skirt if you want something that fits more into a fall palette, but I kind of love how this adds like a vibrant pop of something to what would typically be, you know, your classic more muted fall color selection. Then the next skirt I have also from Grace Karen, but this feels more like a fall winter pick to me just because it's a deeper leopard print, but it's still a skirt. So to the extent you want to wear it and just want a little bit more coverage, I also paired it with some tights. These, oh, if I don't take the whole rack down with me, these are a pair from Spanx and I really like them because they're thicker than your average tight. They're not sheer, they're a little bit more opaque, not totally opaque, but pretty opaque, so they're gonna give you a little bit more warmth on the bottom as well. They're nowhere near as warm as like a fleece line tight, which I would totally recommend if you're in like the dead of winter and looking for some warmth on your legs, but these do a pretty good job at adding a nice warm layer if you're just looking for something to get you by in the cooler fall months. And then the other thing about these tights is you can pair them with your maxi dresses as well. It's not just your skirts you can pull into spring and summer, but I, this is my um, Marstay maxi dress that I love so much I bought in all three colors that she has, but this is my favorite dress, but because it has spaghetti straps on the top, it has a pretty long slit up the side, I typically think of this for the warmer months, but if you add, you know, the tights like that, it can definitely extend the life of it. And if you pair it with some of these awesome layering options, it's gonna make it such a versatile piece pretty much no matter what season you want to wear it in. And my last pick for keeping things light and versatile in those transitional weather days, I actually wasn't thinking ahead. I can't hold it up right now because I'm wearing them. They are leggings, um, and specifically more structured feeling leggings. I really love my Spanx. I think they're called faux leather leggings. I got them in a trunk club last year, and I really, really love them because they have a finish to them that just makes them look a little bit more polished than your average black cotton legging. I find when I pair these with oversized shirts like this or even with kind of big comfy cozy sweaters like this, it just adds a little bit more structure to the look overall. And then you put some boots on with them and it's just like a 
really complete, polished, but still comfortable looking and feeling look. Plus, it's a nice way to change things up from denim, which can sometimes, I think, feel a little bit heavy, especially on those days when it gets especially hot. The leggings breathe a whole lot more, so when you know you're in the middle of a day where you're gonna see a huge temperature swing, leggings are a nice thing to wear just to keep you feeling comfortable throughout the whole day. So those are all my tips. Those are the pieces that I have and probably will be relying on for the next probably week or two here in Texas to get me through this awkward transitional weather period, but I hope it was helpful. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.